Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodmo, this is Christopher Drivers, and this is Matt Weiss. You did it! Uh, He's getting better! Stand by, if you haven't seen the GIF, download it, use it, do whatever. Just get this get, get this guy's face all over the internet. He needs more of it. <laughs> Alright, so our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker. 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can visit them at you can visit their website at oh, hockeylockermilwaukee.com. You could call them at 414-800-7585. For all your hockey needs, uh, hockey gear, figure skating gear, referee gear, fandom gear. Referee any... glasses not included, though. That's the thing. Yes. <laughs> you need to go to Wisconsin Vision for that. Cheap not plug. sponsored. Cheap plug. Not sponsored. <laughs> But uh, where are they located? Are they at 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin? Yep. There we go. And they're right across the street from Wilson Park. One uh, of the best places uh, to go skating. Uh, Admiral started out there. Yep. All right. So today, the Nashville Predators play the Carolina Hurricanes. <laughs> and voila. Look at that. Look at this. Getting fancy on the show now, everybody. Everything's getting fancy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Everything's a little bit of an upgrade. All right, so the Preds played the Hurricanes. There was a big two points on the line. Um, shots were pretty even. Face-offs were pretty even. Power play, typical. Yep. Uh, 0 for 4 on the power play for the Predators. 1 for 3 for the Carolina Hurricanes. Um, hits were even. Blocks were even. Giveaways were even. Yeah. So. Even if you look at the Canes with where their standings are, this was a game that could have gone either way. And it's really hard to win four in a row in the NHL. Yes. But it was still nice to get three in a row since, what, October? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So if you guys want to take the scoring in the first sure. two. Sure. Uh, we had uh, Jordan Stahl of Carolina get his eighth goal today with an assist by uh, Williams and Fogley, uh, his 16th, and Williams with his second. Uh, for Nashville, we had Ryan Johansson with his 12th, with uh, an assist by Jared Tenorti, and an 11th with his third assist by uh, Jared Tenorti, and uh, Mikhail Granlin with his 11th. Yeah, this is in the second period, by the way. Yep. Uh, we have Andre Shvechnikov with his 24th for the year, with an assist by Williams, his Williams third. Then we have Nino Niederreiter with his ninth goal of the year, with an assist from Nikas, his 17th, and Hala is 10th. Is Eric, that Eric Hall? I think yeah. it is, yeah. All right, and then we have uh, Sebastian Ajo with his uh, 34th, with an assist from Van Riemsdyk, his sixth. And net for, her for Carolina was... Uh, Peter Morazic, former Detroit Red Wing, former Grand Rapids Griffin. Mm -hmm. uh, 28 to 29 with a 9.66 save percentage. Yeah, that's that's a tough goalie to get anything by. Yeah, Detroit was kind of made the mistake of not giving up Jimmy Howard. <laughs> but, uh, that's a that's a whole different rad that it's probably good for an editorial. We should do goalie rants. <laughs> All right, and UC Saros was in net. He stopped 26 of 30 with a .867, which... For allowing four goals, that's not that bad. No, no. Um, I don't want any who's he or who's a hate. I don't want it. All right. My favorite referee was actually here, Wes McCauley, uh, um, and Brian Pochmara were your referees. Uh, then we have linesman uh, Steve Barton and Derek Amell. Head coach of the Carolina Hurricanes is longtime Hurricane Rob Brendamore. Um, and uh, head coach for Nashville is John Hines. Scratches for Carolina was Jordan Martinuk. Uh, scratch for Nashville was Colin Blackwell and Matt Irwin. No changes there. Um, yeah, they haven't scratched for the last couple. What is Blackwell? What is Blackwell's constant scratching for? I think it's just uh, too what's, many, huh? Too much like current success with the current lines. Yeah, I think that's the exactly it. Because I don't. I, I'm just crossing that if Blackwell, if anything, gets sent back down to Milwaukee and not Matt Irwin. Yeah, I think when, when if, if they make a move, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. All right. So up next for the Predators, um, quick side note, um, up next for our show is the Milwaukee Admirals versus the Minnesota, or <laughs> Minnesota, Iowa Wild. Iowa may as well be Minnesota, yeah, let's right. be honest. <laughs> um, so, Iowa is in second place. The Admirals are in first place. 
in the league and the division. Yep. So um, this is a big game, pre uh, playoff uh, implications. Um, if the Admirals win this game, their uh, magic number goes to 20. Yes. Uh, do you want to explain the magic number a little bit? Because so, some some of our fans might not understand that completely. All right, so the magic number, how it changes is if, even if the Admirals lose, if the other teams behind them lose as well, the points go down by one. Yes. So because they couldn't pick up a point in overtime, they still lose that point. Right. So... Like a good example was the when uh, the Admirals lost on uh, was it Saturday to Manitoba in a one nothing game. Uh, pretty much everybody else in their division, with the exception I think of what was it? Rockford, uh, Grand Rapids, and Rockford, because they're both playing each other, were like even those like directly affect. Like so, if uh, Grand Rapids lost to Rockford, it probably would have bettered the Admirals' chances of lose. Was it uh, of shrinking that number? But like when um, or even Belleville losing in overtime. Yeah, and that's the league one right now. The the number twenty and twenty four. That's just to get in. Yes. Uh, we'll worry about the other numbers later. Right. All right. So. Um, well, I can see why Irwin scratched. Owie. That's Owie with a negative eight. Owie. All right. So. Uh, Up next for the uh, Predators is the Chicago Blackhawks on Friday. I believe this is on TV. Well, all of them are on TV, yes. <laughs> yes, if you pay for NHL TV in the Wisconsin area, don't do it. If you live in Nashville, you won't get them. Yeah, that's true. Just pay your local cable and you're good. <laughs> what do you mean by that? You think it's on NBCSN? Is Correct. That what you mean? I believe so. Don't quote them. I think I saw that same commercial too, Dan. Well, so I can confirm it. All right, be. go ahead. Um, I'm going to let you take over with your preview. All right. Well, uh, their first line, this is, uh, by the way, this is uh, what they're doing in the last five games. All right, they got, uh, who is that, Dominic Hublik? Hublik? He has two goals and two assists as their left winger. Uh, Jonathan Taves, he has two goals and four assists. He's their center. And then, uh, who is that, Drake Kuglia? Kugula. Kagula, he has zero goals, but he has two assists. Their uh, second line, uh, Brandon Sad, uh, he has three goals and an assist. Uh, Ryan Carpenter, their center, he has a goal and an assist. And then Patrick Kane, two goals and six assists. After that, their third line, there's really nobody that really sticks out that you should really think about. That 13 shots right there by uh, Kirby Doc with one goal and one assist. I mean, Debrinket, he pops up once in a while, so you might want to keep an eye on him. Other than that, anybody else? Oh, wow. He got called up? Oh, Neil, uh, Alex Nylander, he has two goals. Yep. But other than that, you know, I'm not too worried about the Blackhawks. I'm really not. On defense, who do you think scares you? Like, Duncan Keefe's not doing much. He has, like, four um, Adam Boquist has now. a goal. that He's on their top line with uh, Duncan Keith. Uh, we have uh, Connor Murphy with two assists, and we have Ole Mata with two assists. Yeah, there's, there's really nobody right that there. scares me in Chicago. In their last five, we have Corey Crawford, who started three games. He's 0-3-0 with a 2.71 goals against average and a .92, uh, 9.12 save percentage. And then we have Robin Leonard with two a win and a loss with a 4.07 save percentage with a or goals against average. 4.07 save percentage. <laughs> That's like eight shutouts. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, uh, he has a .889 save percentage. Which I can't really hold against. On their injured, uh, injury report for them, we have Brett oh. Seabrook on IR, Calvin DeHane on IR, Andrew Shaw on IR, and Zach Smith is out with an injury. I believe that to be day-to-day. How has Brent Seabrook been performing this year? Like even if you even go to, if he uh, go to year, you can click on the year yeah, right next to the stat. Click on year, and it'll tell you. Also, um, we are not nationwide. Okay. Everyone. We are on Fox Sports Tennessee and uh, NBC Chicago. He has three goals, one assist, forty shots, sixty-four blocks. So he is keeping the puck out of the net, but that's about it. Yeah, I wonder what caused. And that red means IR. long-term IR. So. Yeah. Ouch. Not looking good. Yeah. Um, I heard DeHan has been skating. I heard Shaw is not going to be out at back anytime soon. 
And Zach Smith is uh, dated day, but he is on IR now, according to this. IR4? Yeah. So, the thing, again, with the Blackhawks, you never want to count them out because... They like to play spoiler. They Well, yeah. They like to play in that. They like to play in that that regard, but it's also playing. Uh, what is it on the house off of Madison is just insane. No matter what, Blackhawks fans are still showing up. The bandwagon into my like my constant attention is not dead yet. It's still kind of alive there. Like we being Milwaukee fans, we know what that bandwagon is. Yeah. Well, how are the Blackhawks doing over their last ten, like record wise? Let's take a look. Because they're middling and they're they're middling with us in the division right now. I think they're below the wild. Yeah, I think they are too. They are like one of the worst. Oh come on! NHL.com is doing its best right now (laughs) to try to annoy me. (laughs) Yeah, so I went to click on uh, the wild card and it sent me to trades and transactions. It, it, it knows what you want, Dan. It knows that you want to, the final results of the end, of the trade deadline. Yeah, right. yeah, I know. I want this. I want this week to just end and Monday to be over. My God, hockey fans all over has got to be just like thinking that right now because you see your favorite player on there, you, like, or you see a favorite player that you want to keep in your team, or a player you want and he goes you somewhere. You want to go? Yeah, that's got to be like, you got to be on the edge of your seat like me right now. All right, so Chicago's currently sixth in the wild card position with 60 points. They're five yeah. points back in Nashville. Um, they're three, four, right? Three, five, and two in their last ten, and they're on a one-game losing streak. And again, Nashville's still pretty close to getting that that third spot in the in the wild card. They're pretty close. Well, with 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 the thing I can say about that is, two games, all it takes. Yeah. Two games, 69 points. They take the number one spot in the wild card. Yeah, and again with with again with the uh, and with Carol Calgary and Arizona playing each other twice. Yeah, in this that's, weekend, that's going to be a determining factor on who sinks or who stays. Yeah, we just got to hope Winnipeg drops. And the Preds kind of got to win out this weekend. So this yes. one loss is a like a who are our uh, next two uh, matchups? Well, we got the Blackhawks on Saturday. Yeah, and then Columbus on Sunday. And where is Columbus? Right now, so they're they're in the they're almost in the same position we are, and they're three three and four. They are dropping. Okay, so, so they yeah, just, so let's they just, just not hope deal. they uh, find themselves. The Islanders are also starting to drop a little too. And Carolina with the win just put themselves in a three way tie for the wild card. Yeah. So with that being said. So, uh, any any other thoughts of tonight's game? Uh, it looked like an, uh, what they were doing before they went on this win streak and just crowding the net and leaving Saros and Pex out to dry. And, and you can't do that. So maybe they break out the tool again where they have Saros and Pex work with that thing in the front of the net and shoot pucks at them again. Yeah. Which you and I, like as Admirals fans, I'm sure Chris... Knows the like if I because you Dan knows that I like to use the Dean Evison era of Admirals hockey as a as a, a, a do not method of doing hockey. Basically, he considers it the low point. Yeah, yeah. because like even though he was our winning, <laughs> even though the Evison was one of our winningest coaches, there was a lot of problems in those wins. Uh, the problem, Let's try winning five to four in overtime several times in one season. <laughs> But, like, one of the problems that you had in the Evison era of uh, Admirals Hockey was that he would like to stack people in front of the oppo- like our own home goalie, just kind of crowding our own guy, because it almost seemed like a lack of faith in our goaltender. And I, 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 I th- that's the one issue that I have, is that Jose Saros does not need people, you know, being his babysitter in the net. Neither does Pekka. Neither does Pekka, and that's kind of a slap in the face to, to Pex, and I don't, I don't appreciate that. And in retrospect, this is where you're supposed to be crowding. What was it? You're supposed to be crowding. Who's the opposing? I just Morazic. Yeah. Why are you not crowding Morazic? Like, why are you not screening him? Like again, like it, it, you'll get in front of pucks for your own goalie, but you won't go and get in front of the net to get in front of pucks for them. Last time I checked, the goaltender's got some uh, got some pretty decent padding. He's okay. He's not he's not freaking Goldberg from the Mighty Ducks. He's not scared of the puck. 
Bet you if that puck was a cheeseburger, <laughs> you'd stop it. No. No. Okay, that was dangerously close to something I thought you were going to say, but I'm glad you didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I was just like, no, no, we're sponsored. We're sponsored. But uh, no, there's no reason for there's no reason for our, our, our defensemen to basically crowd our, our goaltender here. They should be doing the opposite and basically opening shots for our skaters. Well, now when the rebound goes off, yes. that's when you crowd and clear. Yes. But they weren't doing that either. No, you're con- it's just the constant shroud. Yeah. Which that doesn't help anybody. Nope. That leaves them open to be able to pick up the puck and fire it back in again. Also, it opens up the slot. Yeah. Which they scored on twice. And then two rebounds they scored on. So this one's not on Saros. This no. one's on the defense giving them lanes to shoot in. The skaters get off because you're playing against a really, really good goaltender. Like, you can't you can't fault um, Mrazek on this one either because, like, oh, well, you know, Mrazek just had a lucky night. I doubt that. I doubt that very much. Mrazek is a very good goaltender. And it just happened to be his night tonight. Yeah. I mean, and that's the thing. Saros will have an off night every now and again. He'll wake up on for this weekend. And again, Pekka has bad nights too. But they're not entirely his fault, in my I'd opinion. I'd say most of them are his defense's fault. And this is why we'll, we'll talk about in our next video Yay. coming yeah. later. Um, but for that, we are from Milwaukee to Nashville. Yeah. Brought to you by the wonderful yeah. folks at Hockey Locker, 202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um... Right now, right now, um, hockey locker is closed. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! But you can you can always drop your skates out there at any time yeah, with some contact info. And uh, what will they do? They'll sharpen your skates. And when they're done, they'll give you a call. And then you pay for them, and you can go skating. It's yeah. the it's the gift that keeps on giving as long as you drop your skates off. And as long as you okay, bad example, bad example. Just drop your skates off. There. You need. <laughs> Uh, remember, we're kind of a PG show here. Yeah, we're <laughs> I was keeping it clean. All right. So, um, for us, we will see you guys later. We have a trade discussion coming up because we were going to do that on Saturday. Thought better of it, and oh, are we glad we did? Oh yeah. yes. So, like I said, we're from Milwaukee to Nashville. You. I'm Daniel. This is Chris, and this is Matt. Yay! And, and we will see you guys later. Next time.